This appears to be a case of a system working right. Sheriff Cameron says the motive isn't clear just quite yet, but he painted a picture of a prior relationship between the deceased gunman, Austin Wyatt Rollins, and he's 17, and the female student who is 16. She is in intensive care at a local hospital at this hour fighting for her life. The second shooting victim, a 14-year-old male student, is in stable condition. The sheriff detailing how this all unfolded earlier today and the brave actions of that school resources officer, Deputy Sheriff Blaine Gaskell. DFC Blaine Gaskell fired at the shooter and what is described to me is almost simultaneously the shooter fired. Now, Gaskell says it'll be further investigation to determine whether or not it was his uh, shot that uh, killed the gunman. But the fact remains, Brett, that yet again, we've had someone open fire in one of our schools in 2018. And Maryland's governor, Larry Hogan, says he's outraged that more isn't being done. No parent should ever have to um, worry about when they send their kids off in the morning to school, whether they're going to come home safely or not. And uh, we need more than prayers. Um, I want to thank these first responders and law enforcement officers for the job they did, but we need more. We've got to take action. And just for a little context, it was one week ago tomorrow that the students here at Great Mills High School behind me walked out in a nationwide response to the gun violence. Brett. From Jenkins in Great Mills, Maryland. Griff, thanks.